How's it going everyone? Gringo here and welcome back to week two of our EZA Fridays and today we're going to be taking a look at Saiyan Outcast Broly. Now before I get into the fights I wanted to go over a couple things real quickly. The main thing being that three of the four characters that you can EZA awaken in this event are going to be on the free to play side and we're going to take a look at that real quick. Now if you go over to story here and you scroll down maybe six or seven times you're going to hit this Dragon Ball Super Broly banner. Now if we look at the information here, scroll down a bit, <clears throat> the Stage 1 Goku, the Stage 4 Vegeta, and the Stage 11 Gogeta are going to be those three characters that can be Extreme Z Awakened through the event. Now you can also pick up a Broly and a Frieza, but we're going to focus on the other three for now. Now if we scroll down a little more, and you happen to forget which characters, it actually has a little banner right here that says the three characters recruited from this event can be Extreme Z Awakened with Awakening Medals obtained from Extreme Z Battles. So if you forget who they are, then these are the three characters you're gonna wanna get. The Gogeta isn't really gonna help you get through the event too much, but if you scroll down a little bit more, it says that movie hero categories get a bonus in this event right here. So they'll help you with your drop rates. If you don't have a lot of movie hero categories, all three of these characters right here do count as movie hero categories. So they'll help you up your drop rates, collect them faster. And if you work on these, the Vegeta and the Goku also work really well in the Saiyan Outcast EZA. And that's just what I wanted to go over real quick. Let's get straight to the fights. Okay, we're back. And the team I wanted to choose for this event, I like choosing a full team. I try to get the category advantage and I try to get the type advantage in these as much as possible so that I can go through them and kind of show what those characters are capable of. Now, people might not have every single character that I do, but if they have like three or four of them, they can get a good idea of what that character is capable of. But for this event, I was actually able to go more on the free-to-play side and grab a bunch of characters from the events that you can go through on the side. So the first, second, fifth, and sixth characters, I believe, are all event characters. The Krillin at character four is a Baba Shop character, and the Super Saiyan Gogeta at character three was the only one that you would have to draw for. I just got him dokened recently in my mass rank upgrade of characters, so I kind of wanted to try him out and right, see what he could do. do now you will notice that my Vegeta and Goku are level 140, so I have already maxed them out and been through this event. I just wanted to go back through and kind of touch on it and finish this event and see what I could do differently, see if there was like a major difference. and. The biggest difference you'll probably know is on the right hand side with our friend's character. Again, there's only one character, but he is, or they, I guess, are all over the place. So they will be very easy to find and they will just basically carry you through this event. Even if you don't have too many other good characters, if you get one or two shots off with the... Uh, the Super Saiyan God, Goku and Vegeta over on the side there, it's pretty much over for this whole event. And now if you get the the Vegeta and the Goku that I have, and then a couple of the other free-to-plays like the Gohan Videl and the Kid Trunks there, you might be able to, to just get them to 120, have them do a little bit of damage, but they'll mainly be there to take hits while you try to get that Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Vegeta a turn. And the right. best thing about that Super Saiyan God, Goku, and Vegeta is it is extremely easy to get them supers. So you don't even have to get their type of key, you just have to kind of build up any type of key and maybe get like four key orbs and then you'll pretty much have a super every time. Now, the Gogeta over on the side there, I also brought because I wanted to see how much his dodge mechanic would come into effect. I wanted to see if I could get his transformation to go off and all that, so that's the main reason I brought him. He's not gonna take hits too well if he does not dodge, 
and especially if he gets hit by a super because he does not have the type advantage as well. Now he'll take less than somebody without the category advantage, but he will dodge quite a bit for you. And with that, I think I'm pretty much done talking, so enjoy the rest of the video.